Thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson, and today I'm a fleet manager. Stick around. So when you decided to get your family dirt bikes, one of the things you probably forgot you were signing up for is to be a service manager slash a fleet manager mechanic for all of these different bikes. And it, it takes a quite a bit of time and it takes a quite a bit of energy to just make sure you're up on everything. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I manage that and see if it's something that could be valuable for you. As you can see, I've got three different bikes here. I've have, I have three kids that are old enough to ride dirt bikes. I've got four kids. Uh, the, the youngest one on a bike right now is eight and then 10 and then 13. So my eight year old right now is just moving up to this K, the, the uh, KTM 65. Uh, SX. Um, I've got the 10 year old now on this Yamaha 65, which we'll be doing reviews on these bikes. He's not, the 10 year old isn't quite ready for an 85. So I, I wanted to go to uh, try the Yamaha 65. And then we've just recently picked up this uh, Honda CRF uh, 125F uh, for my 13 year old daughter, who's nearly 14. And I'm pretty excited about this bike because it has fuel injection. This is a 2019 Honda and Honda went to a fuel injection on this little bike, which makes it easier for me to maintain because I don't need to come home and rejet it. But let's talk about some of the things because we've got air filters that we've got to change. We've got oils, uh, oil engine oil or gear oil changes that we have to do. We have tires that we have to do, spark plugs, some different things like that. So how do I keep it all uh, straight? All I really do is I create just a, a blank Excel file, not a blank Excel file. I have a template in Excel. I'll show that right now where I will just, as soon as I get a bike, I say, okay, here's the day I bought it. Here was the purchase price. And then I start listing some different things um, have some different uh, like hours, how many hours it was, and then what was, the, what was the service that I did. So it might be an air filter, it might be gear oil changes, it might be tires, it might be when I changed uh, the jets and the carburetor. Like when I bought the, when we bought the Yamaha just recently, I brought it home and on the day that I brought it home, I um, changed the jets and the carburetor. We went down to like a 140 main and then I changed the needle clip position on the needle and then we you know did some stuff to the uh to the air screw and i record all that data the other thing that's really nice is if you've got an hour meter so the ktms a lot of the newer ktms are coming with hour meters i just ordered an hour meter for the yamaha because it's important especially on some of these more high performance race bikes it's really important to keep track of these intervals of when how often are you doing gear oil, gear oil changes or engine oil changes so it's probably a really good idea for you to get an hour meter and install it on every one of your bikes. I highly, highly recommend that. That way you're not guessing of when you did this or when you did that. You know, if it's been a couple months since you did an oil change, maybe you're changing your oil on like 10 hour intervals or five hour intervals, and it can be really easy to get mixed up, especially when you've got multiple bikes. Uh, where I'm testing two to four uh, big bikes at a time, and then you know, and then I've got these bikes. I'll sometimes have seven bikes that I'm cycling through, and it's nearly impossible to keep track unless you keep some sort of a record. So you could do this on a piece of paper. I prefer Excel, uh, and then I just put it in Dropbox, and then I can I can check it on my phone. I can check it on any of the computers uh, because the files are all syncing up. So that's just what I do. I, I'll take. Um, you know, that Excel file that you saw and then just make a maintenance log and every, and it takes some work because every time you do something to one of these bikes, then you're going to need to go through and, and write it down and keep track of it. But it makes a really nice maintenance log. And it, another benefit of that is when you go to resell the bike, that's really something that's going to be, you know, give the, the new owner or the potential buyer, I should say, peace of mind that you knew what you were doing and you were organized and you didn't just willy nilly it. You're like, look, this is when I changed the air filter and this is when I changed the gear oil and this is when I changed, you know, this is when I did this to this bike. There's, you know, when you're keeping good records like that, it just helps the potential buyer to be a lot more comfortable believing you. Um, and they'll be like, hey, look, the bike looks clean and he's got this maintenance record. I've done that for people in the past. I'll just print out the maintenance record at the end, you know, and say, like, here's the maintenance record when they come over to look at the bike when I'm selling it used. So that's a really, really good idea. Get an hour meter and then make a log, a maintenance log. Today, I'm going to change the gear oil on this KTM because it's been a while since we've done it. So I went out there and I got the engine warm, got her warm. Uh, she's still a little warm to the touch and I'm going to drain the engine oil on this bike. Uh, actually the gear oil, transmission oil on this bike because it's a two stroke and I'm gonna do that today. And I was prompted to do that because I pulled up the maintenance record and I'm like, oh look, the bike has you know this many hours. When was the last time 
we did it. Well, it's time. It's time to get it done. So um, this bike has only got like a half hour on it. So I'm going to have the kids ride that bike a little bit more. Um, and then we'll change the gear oil on it. Same thing with this one. This bike has got like no hours on it, just brand new. So we'll be doing reviews on all these bikes, the Yamaha, the KTM, and the Honda uh, later in the summer. And guys, I don't care what color they are. I just wanna have a good bike. And they all have to have maintenance. Things break on them. You have to maintain every bike. Doesn't matter if it's blue, red, orange, yellow, green. They all need maintenance. So let's get it done. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And we'll see you in the next video.